Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about something called the GPS rollover. Now the easiest way to think of this is the Y2K bug for GPS. This is going to take place on the 6th of April 2019 and it could have an effect on any device that uses GPS and that includes things like your phone but more importantly things like your drones so your aircraft because it uses GPS for positioning. Now in this video I'm going to explain what it is a little bit and give you guys some of my personal advice as we head towards this date because the reality is whilst things should be okay there's also a massive unknown here. So to just try to explain what this is, the way GPS works is it sends timing signals from satellites in the sky, your device picks these up, it looks at the timing information and it's able to work out where it is. Within this timing signal is a week number and it uses that to be able to know what the date of the week is today. Because they used 10 bit encoding in it originally, that means that there were only 1024 week numbers available. Now the easiest way to think about this is a, a four digit timer that gets to 9999. When you get to that point the only place the timer can go is back to 0001 and that is exactly the same as what's going to happen on the 6th of April 2019. It's going to reach the 1024th position and then it's going to roll back over to the beginning. Now this isn't the first time this happened. GPS was launched in 1980 and it takes about 19.7 years to get to the rollover end and the first one was in August 1999. When that did happen it did actually cause some pretty big issues with some GPS systems and some of them stopped working altogether. However, since then manufacturers have learned and I understand it that most of the modern GPS systems should just roll over without a problem. However, one day your system's going to think it's in 2019 and on the next day it's going to roll back and think it's either in 1980 or in 1999. Now the software should be able to cope with this and go actually that's not right it must be this. However there are some things you need to be aware of because there's not a lot you can do about this. The only things you can do is make sure all your devices are on the latest firmware because the information that is out there is that anything that's been made over the last 10 to 15 years should be fine. It shouldn't have problems. However I would advise making sure all your devices are on the latest firmware just to make sure if there were any bugs about this and they've been fixed quietly you do get them on your aircraft or your phone. Um, the other bit of advice I'm going to give is this if you're going to fly on the 6th of April or the 7th or around that time be very very careful. I would strongly suggest sitting your aircraft on the deck for at least 15 minutes and letting it get a good GPS lock. Look at what the home point sets to on your device, make sure the sat count looks correct, make sure the position is correct. Do not take off until it all looks 100%. Don't just rely on green glow to fly, look at the home point position on the map because whilst this should cause no issues in theory, there is a lot of unknown here and this hasn't happened for 19.7 years. So whilst manufacturers say yes, 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 the software should be fine, that is always what they think is going to happen in, in testing, but that doesn't mean strange or bizarre issues won't happen. So on the 6th of April, be careful. If you're going to fly, take it slowly, give your GPS a lot of time to get lock and make sure that lock is correct and make sure it is fine. Um, my understanding is things like the here GPS on the Pixhawk 2 and the Cube should not be affected. Anything less than 10 to 15 years old like your DJI aircraft should all be fine. You should not get problems but do be careful. Please do be careful on that day with this because as I said there are a lot of unknowns here. Um, other than that, that's it. It's going to happen. There's nothing no one can do about it. The equipment should be ready for it. If there are any issues after the fact, we'll just have to wait and see what happens and what manufacturers say. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you've liked what you've seen. There's a button in the bottom right hand corner and I will do another video again soon. And that is it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do check out. We have over 150 videos on this channel covering everything from DJI right 
right through to the Pixhawk 2 and various other things. We've also got them separated into playlists as well that help you navigate to the ones that might be relevant for you. If you like what you see on the channel, please do subscribe. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of every video and by doing that you will receive updates on any videos that we release in the future. Finally, there are some links to the products we talk about in the description for each video. I would really appreciate it if you are going to buy a product if you would like to buy via those links. By supporting the channel it allows us to keep buying products to be able to talk to you guys about. That's it, thank you for watching and I'll do another video again soon.